we're going to be looking at today are just simply conversion graphs. And conversion graphs are straight line graphs, which let us convert between two different units, say. So you can convert between metric units and imperial units, or most likely you see it between foreign currencies. So between the Australian dollar and the US dollar, or the Australian dollar and US pounds, uh, Great British pounds, things like that. So let's have a look at some examples. Uh, the conversion graph below shows the currency exchange between Australian dollars and the US dollars on a particular day. We say on a particular day as currency rates change constantly by small amounts. So how many Australian dollars are needed to buy US $50? So this is really simply a graph reading exercise. Here is the US dollars, here is 50, we go up to the 50 and we go across and you're going to do this with a ruler and you're going to do it beautifully and you come down and you read off what it says and it looks to me like it is now we need to work out what the scale is I think each of these is two so we can count up how many there are between so we've got one two three four five boxes so ten divided by five is two so each one of these little squares is two so this comes down here so it is 62 Australian dollars and same with the scale on here each one of those is two so how many US dollars will a $20 Australian buy? So here is my $20 Australian. I'm going to go up and I'm going to read off how many US dollars and that looks to be 16 US dollars. Now, so we've got a straight line graph and this is a conversion graph. I just want to talk about what this straight line means. The gradient of this straight line, so let's try and work out what the gradient of this straight line is. Now we knew that at $50 we had 62, so our rise was $50 and our run is 62. So the gradient, if we were to work that out, is 0 0.81. Now what this gradient means, it means the exchange rate. That's what the rate is. So when you have a gradient, another way of thinking about it is a gradient is usually representing some kind of rate, a rate of change. And in this case, the gradient of any conversion graph or in terms of dollars, when we're converting between currency, your gradient is going to be the exchange rate. So can you please write this down somewhere? This is the exchange rate. Meaning that one Australian dollars is giving you 81 US cents on this particular day. So let's have a look at our last question. I'm not sure what happened there. But interesting side effects. Um, here we have another conversion and this conversion is converting feet to centimetres. And it says Jess is five feet tall. Uh, what is her height in centimetres? So here is my five foot tall here which is A and I need to go off and read off what this is. Now the problem is I've got between 140 and 160. Now I need to work out what each of these little boxes is meaning. So the distance 160 140 is 20 and then if I've got 20 there's five boxes between there. One, two, three, four, five. If I divide that by five I get four. So each of these squares is worth four. So that means the answer up here must be 140 plus 4, 4, 8, 12 and what it gives me is 152 centimetres. So the hardest part of this graph is knowing what the scale is actually telling us. So a doorway is 35 centimetres wide. Convert this to feet correct to one decimal place. So if we have a look at this um, for part B, I'm not sure why it isn't on 35 but let's go and try and find out where 35 is so 20 and 30 is here and so 35 24 8 32 so 35 is around about here so let's go across and let's try and read off my graph. Now remember this is really only an approximation. Now we need to know what each of these parts is. So we're going between 0 and 0.5. So if I do 0.5 and I divide that by 5, I get 0 0.1. So each of these little squares is 0 0.1. 
So this is 1.1 1 .1, and then this has to be 1.2. So that means she must be 1.2 feet. The gradient of the line in the conversion graph is 30.5. What does this value represent? So this value represents the conversion rate. And I won't write it down. You can listen to it. You can write it down yourselves. It's conversion rate between uh, feet and metric length. So what it's really saying is that one foot is equal to 30.5 centimetres. So that's what it's representing. Okay, now try and think about this when you do this work as real life things, remembering that your gradient is always some kind of rate of change. And have a go at the work, and if you have any questions, you know where to find me.